Hello. Hi guys, good morning. We're just gonna give it like 30 more seconds, so make sure you're not set up, space heater, any kind of water or drink you need. Hope everyone's doing well today. Good morning, Sarah, Gina, Monty. If anyone else has the capability to use that chat feature, let me know if you're here. All right, get a little bit more light in here. And we're going to go ahead and begin. So we'll actually start just a few moments in a seated position. If you want to sit on the heels like this, you can. If you want to sit just simply cross-legged, you can. We'll probably be here less than two minutes. So something that's comfortable. Or you can sit up tall and just feel the easy length of your spine. So you're not trying to force your spine too stiff here. Just allow front of the head to float up, shoulders to melt down. Give yourself permission to close your eyes so that you can just start to draw the energy from outside to inside and letting your Five senses really start to awaken, notice anything that you're hearing. How your body, your sitting bones, touch any kind of surface, the ground, your mat. And for the next few seconds, just less than a, a minute, really observe the quality of your thoughts and the quality of your breath. So what kind of thoughts are you having without trying to control them? Just simply observe them. And the reason that it's important to observe our thoughts is that the, the mind or the brain is almost like Tofu, it becomes whatever you marinate it in. It's kind of a funny example, but it really is true. We're constantly marinating the mind or allowing these negative thoughts to take over. It's really what our whole experience becomes. So using this next 55 minutes or so to marinate your body, your mind, in positivity, in ease, in strength. So with that, just take a nice full deep breath in together. Inhale, fill up. And you can open your mouth, sigh it out, let any stagnant air out of the lungs, let your belly squeeze, and then inhale through the nose. And through your nose, Big exhale, let it go. You can let the eyes wing open and we'll transition right into downward facing dog. Take your tape together, there's no rush. Make sure the hands and the feet are at an appropriate distance from one another so they're not too close and they're not too far. 
Your hips can start to rise nice and high as you reach the thighs up and back. Maybe pedal out one heel at a time as you get into the backs of your legs, feeling your morning body and the morning tension, just as it is, it's very natural. Relax the shoulders, guys, and let your chin come in towards your chest as you feel strength in your hands. And then we'll come forward, top of a push-up high plank pose. And then we're just going to lower down to chaturanga. Come right back up to your high plank pose. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So that was a quick little push-up there. We'll try it again. Inhale, forward high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, top. Exhale, go back. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. You can always drop your knees. Notice the sound of your breathing now. If you haven't quite got that sound, give it a try. It's in through the nose and out. Sometimes called the Ujjayi breath for our practice, our purposes. It's just breathing with sound. So in and out through the nose. Hear that gentle wave-like, wind-like hum. And then we'll rise up high to the tippy toes together. Take a little walk to the top of your mat and breathe it out. Inhale, take a halfway lift. And then exhale, heart to thighs, let your head go forward, fold. On the inhale, stand up and rise. Hands to the sky, exhale, over to the right, take a nice side bend. And then inhale up through your center. Exhale, tilt to your left. Inhale, reach up from the ribs, long sideways. And then exhale, forward fold, big dive all the way in. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep the belly strong here. Exhale, step back. We'll take the full vinyasa now. So lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders back, chin up. And then exhale over the toes. Downward facing dog from here, guys. Inhale forward, top of your push up. And then exhale, just lower down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. So we're just taking a little extra push up after our vinyasa. And we're only doing one, only doing one. Three breaths, that was about two. We just finish up one more. And then rise up high, tippy toes, walk or float right up to your hands. And then inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, hollow the belly as you bring your chest in. Inhale, rise all the way up, stand tall. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale and reach. Exhale to your left. Inhale, rise up. Try to look up. And then exhale, forward fold. Take a big left dive all the way in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. High to little push up. Any modifications that feel right to you. Right? Maybe it's cobra today. From your down dog, go come forward again, top of your push up. Take one chaturanga. Push up to plank, and then downward facing dog. Now let's take those three beautiful supercharged breaths together. Rooting down through the backs of your legs. Heels don't have to touch. Allowing some space through the back of the neck. One more exhalation. And then rise up high, tippy toes, walk or float. Maybe a little hop to the top, inhale. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, stand up. Exhale to the right. So one more round here. Let the breath be really, really strong. Go over to the left. Stretch all the way up, entire body, toes to fingers. Exhale, forward fold, right at your midline. Inhale, halfway. And then exhale, vinyasa, high to low. Every breath has a movement. Sink it up, smooth it out from your down dog. Come forward for that little added push up today. High plank, lower down. Inhale, top. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Do any kind of organic movement that feels good. You can sway through your hips. Maybe shake the head yes or no. 
always coming back to your breath and consciously allow your navel to rise up and in into the shape where navel kisses spine. And then starting to pick up the chin, look forward, exhale, walk or float it up to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees right away this time for chair pose, Utkatasana. So seal the big toes together. And then inhale, lift your arms nice and high. Good. You can get a little bit lower here using your next few seconds, maybe even lower than that. Dropping down, reaching high through the hands. Strong and forceful through your inhales and your exhales. And just allow a little bit of sensation to build. Maybe just starting to feel warmer for the first time in the practice, noticing those sun salutations are working. This posture is working. Body is getting warmer. Brain is starting to really lighten up and fire up. We're just waking up here. Sink a little bit lower, squeezing those inner thighs, and then slow open twist to the right. So take the right arm down and back, look back. And then inhale to your center. And then exhale, left arm to a swing down and back. Inhale back to the center, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, heart to thighs, diving in. Inhale, halfway lift, pick up the chin. Exhale, high to low, vinyasa. So through this little heat inducing flow here. And then we're going to lift the right leg to the sky, three legged dog. With your exhale, pull knee to nose. Really pull your belly in, guys. Round your back. And then inhale, three-legged dog. Kick it up. Exhale, step your foot up. And then back heel turns down warrior one. So you're going to come right up into your warrior letter A. Sink down with those hips nice and low. And then exhale, open out. Warrior B. Arms are going to open to the T. Good. Keep your right knee bent for now. Reverse your warrior on the inhale. Lift up from your right ribs and waist, reach up and back. And then keeping the knee bent still, side angle stretch. So elbow to thigh, some of you hand or fingers to the ground. Keep your belly locked up and in towards your spine, and then inhale, reverse it. Exhale, side angle. So that was two, we're gonna do three of those. Inhale, reverse, keep the right bum dropping low. Exhale, side angle. After that third one, now you can straighten your leg. Wide sky archers pose on the inhale, and then wide triangle pose on the exhale. So wide just because the feet are pretty far apart here. Just see how that feels. It should feel really nice. You can open up, lean the left ribs back, lift your chin. And then let's all look down. Exhale, frame the foot. Step back and take a vinyasa. So you guys know you can always skip or add in a push-up, a vinyasa, or any other shape that you need. Come down, dog, inhale your left leg high. And then exhale, knee to nose. Really try to take the thigh into the ribs. And then inhale, lift. Exhale, step up. Back heel down, inhale. Drop your hips as your arms and chin rise. Good, from your warrior A, exhale, warrior letter B, warrior two. Inhale to the reverse. And then exhale, side angle. So, Little yoga dance here. You're going to come up three times, up and down. Inhale and exhale. That was already two. One more time, inhaling. Stay low. Exhale. After the third one, then you straighten the leg. Inhale, sky archer, catch your wrist. Exhale, wide triangle pose. Come on down. Start to look up as you breathe in. Lean back. And then exhale, everybody look down, step back, high to low. We're going to meet up breathing in downward facing dog. Making any tiny adjustments that you need. Not only if you can paying attention to the body, but also paying attention to the mind. What thoughts are kind of moving through? What has your mind been marinated in, and how can we maybe start to shift that? Start to rise up high, tippy toes, walk or float to the top. You can lengthen, exhale and fold. Bend the knees back to chair. This is where the whole 
sequence began. Exhale, take a twist to the right. Inhale, back through your center. Exhale, twist to your left. Awesome, and then inhale back to the center. Let's add in crow pose here. So exhale, forward fold. Then they're gonna come down. Knees go around the arms, and then you can give it a try. Maybe one or both sets of toes come off of the mat. Breathe there, step or jump back, right into chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing, right leg, nice and high, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale your right leg up, and then exhale, step it through, back heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open it out, warrior two. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, swim forward and down. Do that two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach up. Big inhale to the top. Full exhale to the bottom. Keep the belly button strong. Inhale, sky archer. And then exhale, wide triangle over the right thigh. Inhale, top of your push up, step back. Exhale, lower down, bottom. Inhale, open up, exhale, take it back, left toes high. Starting to get that rhythm now, knee to nose. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior one, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, exhale, side angle. Go ahead, two more times, listening to your breath. You can always take it at your own pace. After that third one, rise all the way up, push into the left foot, and then exhale over the left thigh. Inhale, top of your push up. Exhale, chaturanga. Awesome job, everybody. Three breaths and down, up. And then we'll do that one one more time together. And then walk, float, or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, chair pose with a twist. So go to the right side, open those arms. Through the center to the left. Reaching up, let's keep that crow pose in, or maybe you're just doing the preparation, which is hands down, knees around the arms, heels nice and high, right? Tippy, tippy toes. Some of you get the toes up. And then step or float back, high to low. You can go ahead and take it at your own pace, right toes lift, knee to nose, I'll just call it out. And go through it there, you can stick with me, warrior one, back heel down, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse to side angle three times, sink it up to your breath. You don't have to rush it. It just has to be written. Sky archer reaching. Tree gonasana. Let's triangle pose coming down. Good. Look down to the toes. Vinyasa to your last side, left side. So you've got those warrior postures that start you off. Letter A, letter B to reverse. And then you just go up and down, this little yoga dance. Dance with the breath. Inhales, lengthening, exhales, strengthening, contracting. And after that third one, it's sky archer and triangle. Try to peek up. And then take your vinyasa. Without missing a beat, guys, from down dog, jump through to seated. So come right through onto your butt, lie all the way down onto your back. Start to curl it up, knees stacked over hips, shin bones parallel. Just some center crunches. 
So keep the elbows nice and wide and start to crunch it at your pace. Maybe not like sprinting pace, so not like crazy fast, but not too slow. And I want you to start to notice your spine, how when you curl, there's obviously a lift of the head, of the shoulders. There's also like a teeny tiny lift to your tailbone. It's almost like you're trying to bring your ribs uh, to your thighs, right? So see if you can find that little lift to your tailbone, like barely, maybe half an inch, maybe quarter of an inch off the ground as you lift your shoulder blades at the same time. Good, stay with this breath. You want a little bit more, you're gonna lengthen your legs and start to reach the arms, or I should say fingertips, to the toes. Same little thing, there's that little lift, right as you reach at the top, and there should be a great big burning sensation in your abdomen right about now. If there's not, maybe you're not human, or maybe I'm just really weak. I don't know. But take five more of these right here. Try to tap those toes or stick with that other variation. Good. You've got three more. Two. And one. Hands come down. Leave those legs up. So hands are down right underneath you. Thumbs can kind of slide underneath your bum. You're going to lower your legs. Now if your lower back hurts, uh, bend, bend your knees and tap your toes. If your lower back is okay, keep the legs straight. We're going to lift up. Reach the legs up. Lift your hips and lower down. All right, getting into the lower abs. So modification, tap the toes with bent knees. Lift your toes straight up. Lift your hips. Everyone else, straight legs. Lift up. Little lift to those hips. And then you lower down. So you got to get those hips off the ground. Straight up and down. These are fun. So you might feel that burning really, really low in the low, low belly. So just accessing those lower abs right here. Do you have a few more in you? Again, modification. If you're feeling it in the low back, guys, bend the knees, tap the toes, and then reach those legs up from there. Go, we've got three more right there. Two. And one, uh-oh, without missing a beat, rock right up to play bows, top of your push-up, right to it. I mean, at least it wasn't both, right? It's like the lesser of two evils. Play pose, feel your belly engage. Notice that fire of any strength that you built in your abdomen and kind of how it works in plank pose. Sometimes we don't really feel our abs in plank as much. But after doing some crunches, you can really feel how it's engaging. You can feel all that sensation. And then lower down to Chaturanga. Let your knees touch for this up dog, high cobra mix. You can look over the right shoulder, stretch it out. And then you can look over your left shoulder. Awesome job. We're going to start to build our third and our final sequence. From your downward facing dog, take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then inhale, lift the right toes high, three legged dog. Exhale, try a one legged push up. So forward and down, right toes are floating, chin very close to the ground, and then push right back up. Exhale, step through from there. Come into your reverse warrior. So, first shape is a shape you're familiar with. Reverse that warrior, get nice and low. Awesome, exhale for prayer twist, hands to heart center. Pivot on the ball of your back foot and hook the left elbow over your thigh. On your next inhale, reach the arms straight out. Biceps right alongside the ears, strong straight spine, tight and lifted belly. Exhale, turn to your left for skandhasana, side lunge, then the left knee. And then inhale to the center, exhale over to the right, skandhasana. Inhale, come all the way up to star pose, strong T. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. You can catch whatever works for you, so big toes. We're gonna do this a couple times. You can even try maybe hands behind the back a few times. 
Maybe hands are on the ground. Whatever, you're going to make it your own. And you'll get one attempt at this where you're completely on your own, so you can do whatever it feels like. Everybody, let the hands come back down to the ground if they're not. Crawl to the back of your mat. That means towards your left foot for dragonfly twist. Leave your right hand down. Lift your left arm all the way up. Good. Start to look down. Find a little balance. Roll into side plank from here. So to the outer edge of the right foot, stack left on top of right. If you can, shift your eyes up. That means towards your left thumb. Give it a try. And then exhale, take the vinyasa, high to low. So you should have changed sides on your mat. Downward facing dog, lifting your left leg high. Exhale forward and down into your push up. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, step up. Reverse that warrior. Right up to it. Drop your hips. Yeah, and then exhale for prayer twist. Right elbow swings across that thigh. Remember to lift your back heel for this one. And then inhale, stay hinging. Just lengthen the arms out, lengthen both. Exhale, turn to the right, skandhasana, karate squat. Inhale to the center. And then over to the left. Awesome. Inhale, rise up to that star. Lift your ribs up. And then exhale, forward fold. Any variation, big toes, calves. Maybe you'll go upside down when you're on your own. And then start to crawl it back to the original front for that twisting lunge, dragonfly. Inhale, wave your right arm nice and high. When you're ready, make the transition to your side plank. Vashi Sasana, strong obliques, so squeeze. Left obliques in. And then take your vinyasa high to low. Let's start to learn the second part of our flow here. Right leg to the sky. Dip right into your push-up, forward and down. Press it up. And then step it up. Reverse. Big exhale. Take that twist, elbow over time. Inhale, lightning bolt. And then the exhale is that karate squat to the left. Good. Head over to the right. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Start to crawl it to the back of your mat, dragging fly. Inhale, left hand goes high. Exhale, start to roll onto that right hand and foot, side plank, Vashisthasana. Will everybody lift your left toes up, step it up, come right up into warrior three. So you're balancing on the left foot. Using that inhale to take off, right? Arms are out wherever you need them. In the exhale, we're going to come into curtsy squat. So snuggle your right knee behind your left knee, sink nice and low. Reach your left fingertips to the ground, open up to half moon. With your next inhale, stack right hip on top of left. Awesome. Flex your right heel. Kick through that foot. Squeeze the kneecap. So strong left. Beautiful, guys. And then from here, exhale. Take a vinyasa. High to low. Lift the left toes nice and high. Take your push-up. Forward and down. Inhale up. And then exhale. Step through. Reverse it. Maybe start to feel a little bit of your own personal rhythm here as you take that twist, sink it up to your breath. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, turn, side lunges, little skaters to the right, to the left. Open up, and then nice deep fold. Keep some weight in your toes, not all on the heels. Inhale, crawl to your original front, drag and fly. And then start to stack. Let the right toes be light and fly so you can step up to warrior three, sometimes called airplane pose. Breathe in here, find your balance, find your spot where you're looking. Exhale, get nice and low like a speed skater, little curtsy squat. So low, you just take the right fingertips down to the ground, and then you're going to open up sideways right into your half moon. Big inhale there. Expand from your center. Thank <laughs> you. 
and then take your vinyasa. Hi, hello. <laughs> All the way through, guys. One last little layer to add in. And then you'll get this flow one time on your own, right? Like lifts, forward and down. So maybe start to see what you know, what your body wants to do. You start off in that reverse, deep twist there from that open position, close it off. Get nice and long, belly to spine, light and bolt. And then skate it over to the side. Don't miss that opportunity for the wide forward fold stretch. A little restorative moment to catch your breath. Crawl it to the back of the mat, drag and fly. Roll onto it, one arm down, one arm plank. From there, step up, warrior three. Big inhale as you take off. Exhale, get nice and low, little curtsy. Left fingertips drop. Inhale, stack and open right side, right on top of left. Exhale, bend your top knee. Start to stand up, reach back for the bind. For dancer's pose, not a ranjasana. So drop that knee down once you have the bind, and then kick into your hand. The answer is folks. Try to breathe, you got it. And then figure four, take the right foot, right over that left knee, cross the ankle over, sit nice and low one more time in the squatting, one-legged squat position. Good. From there, left hand to hip, right hand to right big toe. Hand to big toe series. We're going to do all four today. Because it's fun. We're going to do all four. I can even do the first one without falling over. So A, you can get out in front. Letter B, you're going to open to the side. And always do this with a bent knee if you need to. Come back to the center. C, we're just going to try to kiss our knee one time. Round and curl all the way up. Inhale, lift your chest up. Both hands are at hips. Point your right toes. One. Good. Two. Leave it right there. Shoulder blades down. Three. Come on. Lift it up. Four. And then on five, gut standing splits. Let it all go. Take a nice deep dive over that left leg. Hands are down. Awesome job. From there, step back. Take the vinyasa. You can add in some hops maybe on your last round. Whatever works for you, left toes high. Take your push up forward and down. You are almost there. Let's just keep building this heat and building this flow. Reverse it. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, find some length now as you reach. Exhale, some depth as you lean to the right, lean to the left. Inhale for star. Exhale and fold. Crawl it to the top. Drag and fly. Start to stack and open any variation. From here, step it through. Warrior three, capital letter T. Exhale, nice deep curtsy, sink low. Right hand finds the floor for your half moon. Good. Exhale, go for the bind. Stand up tall. Not around Jasana, dancer's pose. And lean into it. Keep your chest up. Awesome. Figure four, crisscross left ankle over right knee. Keep your left foot flexed as you drop down. Hand to big toe series. Right hand is at the right hip. Catch your left big toe or your shin. Start to kick it out. Open to the left, letter B. Come back to the center. Letter C, tuck your chin, bow it all the way in. Inhale, rise, point your toes, hands at hips, one. You're holding for five, guys, two. Three. Four. Go ahead, lift up, and then standing splits. Exhale, let it go, awesome job. Try to really fold into your left here. Let it be a forward fold. Tuck your chin. Take the vinyasa. Then we've got one last round through. If you think you know it, go for it. Add in what you need. If you want to stick with me, lift your right leg. Exhale. Forward it down into that push-up. 
Inhale and exhale. Reverse it to the top. Exhale, prayer twist. Awesome. Lightning bolt. And then you take it to the left. Over to the right. Good. Stand up tall. Fold over straight legs and parallel feet. Back of the mat, low twisting lunge. Rolling onto it, strong on our balance. Beautiful. From there, step the left foot forward. Rise right up. Exhale for curtsy. Stack and open left fingertips down, half moon. Good. And then exhale, reach back for the bind. As you start to stand up, use your inhale to expand into dancer. Take the right toes to the ceiling nice and high. And then exhale, figure four. Good, drop the bum low. Seal your belly to your spine, hands and big toes series. A, B, C, N, D. Go ahead and flow through it. Try to bring head to knee. And then hold for five, two, three, four, and five. Standing splits, take your hop if you want to hand stand. Good, maybe hold it a little bit longer, fold a little bit deeper if you don't. Let me try one hop. And then vinyasa, left leg lifts. Take your push up. Awesome job, guys. This is your last side. Have a little fun with it. Reverse. Breathe a little deeper. Prayer twist. Inhale. Exhale to the right. And left. Try that forward fold. I'm going to try hands behind the back here. Open up those shoulders. And we'll twist it back to the original front. Bashi Sasana, stack it open. And then step it through. Exhale, curtsy. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, bind. Inhale, rise up, dancer. Exhale for that figure four. Good. Letter A, B, C. And the Utita Hasta Parabhishasana. Hand to big toe, extended. Hold D for five, two, three, four, five. Standing splits. Awesome job. Take your vinyasa. Jump through to seated. Come onto your back. So here we go. Hands behind the head. Bring those knees in. Start to bicycle it out. You can go at whatever tempo feels good. But try and keep your legs pretty low. Like when you kick it out, your heel is still pretty close to the ground. Your shoulder blades are up, and you are rotating across the body. Maybe use your breath. If you've got some music playing, maybe use that rhythm, whatever works for you. Start to pick up your pace, kind of like you're moving from a job more towards a run. Really press that breath out. And then from a run to a sprint, that's 20 seconds. Right here, sprint it out. Ten more. Lie all the way down. Awesome job. From here, feet are planted. 
Take it up to your bridge. You can interlace the hands. Let the inner thighs just melt and spill in and out. Keep some weight in your big toes. Shoulder blades down the back, chest up. And if you're still up, you can start to let that release down. Bring the knees in, gentle little heavy squeeze. And also turn that into happy baby. Grab the feet. And then from there, if you can, we're going to rock right up to Malasana Squat. Some of you will rock right up to it. If you're like me, you'll use your hand and push yourself up. Come into Malasana Squat. And then just try to relax as much as you can here. Really let your hips go. Spine as lifted as you can get it. Not going for a perfect look, just notice how it feels. Even if your heels are lifted, just try to breathe here. It's good to do this posture every day, just to help open up the lower back, the hips. Try to even out your breathing here. And then from there, hands are down, step back, top of your push-up, high plank. Hold your plank. And then just noticing any thoughts that are there with the sensations. If there's any kind of negative thought, you don't have to force it away. Rather, just try to replace it with a positive one. This is what we just allow our mind to marinate in. Just five more breaths right here, plain pose. So we're going to take those knees down, tabletop pose. Start to send your right leg back. Take the left arm and lift it up. Spinal balancing right here. So notice if the low belly starts to kind of sag and you get this crease in your lower back, try to flatten out through the lower part of your spine there so that your belly comes in. Take Find a spot to look at where the head is still pretty even with the rest of your spine. So it's not sagging down or you're not squeezing back. Pinky finger down like a karate chop. Long right leg with a strong belly in. Stay with it right there. Notice if the right hip is starting to sag down. Pick up the entire right side of your body. Right ribs, right waist. Even and in line with the left side. Any kind of fire that builds in the right hand, wrist, or arm, just allow it to build and try to stay calm right here with your breath. Fill your mind space with positive thought. Calming thought, even thought. Even breath, calming breath. Strong breath, just a little bit longer on this side. Keep your right toes up. Everybody come back. Even if you come out, reach through your left heel. Awesome. From there, table pose. Lift your right arm out to the side. Thread your right arm underneath you. Thread the needle pose. And take the top arm behind your back. And 
and then we'll meet up back in the center tabletop pose. This time your left leg will go back and then your right arm will reach forward. Stay with it. Set up the center of your body so it's strong, and then you'll notice sometimes the left hip is sagging down, the left ribs are sagging down, pick them back up. And then fire up your breath, so just a little bit longer, a little bit more of a push. It's very tempting to allow maybe consciously or unconsciously the leg, the arm to start to come down, to take an easier variation, it's very tempting. It's very tempting, especially at home, maybe when no one's watching, to go a little bit easier or walk away from your nap early. It's very tempting, guys. Try to stay with it. Strengthen your body and your mind just a little bit longer. Keep that leg up, belly in, right hand extended. And try not to give in to any of the temptations that will keep you from growing beyond a boundary in a comfort zone. Try not to give in. It requires positive thoughts, strong breath, even mind. Steady here, right there, right there. Come back. and then take your hand and your knee down. Left arm is gonna reach out to the side and then thread underneath you. Open up through the chest. If you want to wrap the right arm behind you, you can. Good, come on back, child's pose. Keep toes together, hips to heels. Breathe some nice energy all the way down your lower back, down into the hips, the pelvic bowl, all the way through the body, the legs, to the feet and toes. Breathing up through the ribs, arms, all the way out to the fingertips. Full body breathing. As you just gently recover in this child's pose. Good, and then slowly come up. Coming into a seated position. Bada Konasana, feet together, knees wide. You can scoot the hips a little forward towards the heels. Hold on to the feet if that serves you well. Elbows on the inner thighs. And then start to make your way forward and down. Really make sure you're high on the sitting bone. So if you feel like the hips are tipping backwards and your lower back is really rounding, try to tip the hips forwards so you're really high on the sitting bones. And then from there, if you can find that, then you can start to go forward. But maybe you're just working on sitting tall and not letting the lower back and the hips roll backwards. So try to find that height right on those sitting bones.
just have these last few moments here, a few more in this posture, and then we'll just do some more posing postures before Shavasana. So not too long, just enjoying this time. Allowing yourself to marinate maybe in some calming energy. Allowing yourself to marinate in peace, right? It's that age old saying that if we want something, we have to become it. So if you want peace, you have to be peaceful. It's not something that comes from outside of you, it's something that comes from inside of you. So marinating yourself in whatever it is that you want. If you want to be confident, marinate yourself in confidence and then become that. Noticing whatever sensations are there, pleasant or unpleasant, just allow them to be as you breathe. Five more breaths. They can be slow and deep, they can be natural, whatever. Your breath wants to do five more breaths. Amazing, and then slowly making your way up. And let the knees come together and lie down onto your back. Once you're on your back, bring the knees into your chest. Give yourself a little teeny hug and squeeze. And then let both of the knees fall over to the right. Simple. Easy twist your leg over the weight of your legs. Don't hold up that top leg, so fall over. Relax all the way through your ankles and toes. If it's already on your neck, you can look to your left. And then we'll come back through the center here, knees drop to the other side. And then when you're ready, you'll come back to the center. Lengthen your legs out. Find a nice, comfortable place for your arms. And just allow yourself to be here. Be at peace. Be relaxed. Just simply be. Closing your eyes, breathing naturally, easy breath. Sinking into your shavasana, receiving the beautiful benefits of your efforts, the beautiful benefits of your practice today. Your eyes closed, stay here for a short time, and I'll let you know when it's time to wake up again. Just allow yourself to drift through this relaxation and rest. Shavasana.
And then you can go ahead and take a nice deep breath in there, inhaling. Big exhale. Allowing yourself to wake up with a few good morning stretches, fingers, toes, arms, and legs. And then we'll wait, we'll rise up to a seated position there as you wake up. Hands at heart center, feeling this energy together, deep breath in. Exhale, bow forward, seal your practice. Inhale, rising, sitting tall. And then exhale, gently let your eyes open. Namaste, you guys, awesome job today. Thank you so much for showing up and for working so hard and doing the work. You're the only one that can. So it's amazing that you're here and committed. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments or feedback, let me know. And uh, I will continue to be streaming these classes. Friday, we have Yoga Bird again, another like 45 minute-ish class, cardio yoga, okay? So that's gonna be on Friday, 9.30. And um, that's all I got for you. I'll be doing more classes coming up, probably in like a week or two, um, like that Yoga Bird style, but I'm gonna switch over to Zoom for it so that I can play music. Um, so I'll make those announcements and I'll send you guys the links. So. Um, when that happens. So we'll do some of those classes if you're interested um, on Zoom in the next week or two. Uh, for now, everything's on YouTube. You're welcome, Sarah. Have a good day, guys. Um, as always, reach out to me. You know where to find me. Thanks, Gina. Glad you enjoyed it, right? Simple but fun. Simple, effective. I'm sweaty. It worked. So have an awesome rest of your day, guys. See you Friday. Friday, join me Friday at 9.30. Bye.